Hello, Internet. Hewlett here with another Burn and Learn. I've snuck into the cave today because um, I've got a rather excitable and uh, rambunctious bratlet upstairs regaling his mother with tales of his Fortnite exploits. So I thought it'd be a little less distracting down here. Although, of course, I get down here and there's lots of things to play with. So this is a Burn and Learn. And for those of you who don't know, this is my bit to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. It's boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it. And I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible. And I'm certainly doing that today. My gosh, two days off. I came back. And it was like, Oh, true, true torture. Um, but I managed to do a full 55 minutes uh, on the five setting on the torture device and, um, uh, and finish my systems thinker book, which is, I, I'm really glad I picked it up. I mean, again, it's a very odd choice for me. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I found the latter part a little, little harder going. Um, I feel like maybe the editor sort of dropped to sleep about that point or something because there was some, there was a few weird uh, typos and stuff, which made, uh, which sort of threw me on a, on a couple of occasions. Um, I mean, which obviously can't be helped if there's not resources for that stuff, but, um, but it does, it's amazing how it really throws you off the track of, of what you're doing. Um, but it ended with these great examples of systems thinker games that you can play. They were suggesting for adults, I, I would roll my eyes if I came into a business meeting and they started doing this stuff, to be fair, because I'm a total you know, jerk about that stuff. But for kids, the one that really struck me was, Take a board game that everybody knows, everyone's familiar with, and then get everyone who's playing it to change one rule and then play the game. And it's just a great way to show the difference between sort of being in the thick of things and playing the game and um, the, the necessity to sort of sit back and look at it from a systems view when you're designing the rules and how important the rules are. So, um, and then it has a great sort of checklist of things uh, that you should consider when you are approaching things from a systems thinker standpoint. I mean, really looking at the the full structure of whatever it is you're dealing with, like really digging in and figuring out all the components that come to play, realizing that everything creates this cause and effect and that cause and effect can then affect you. So there's feedback loops and then there's, um, um, there's also balancing loops. So there are things that you do that will slow down what you're trying to achieve. Um, and then there are things that will reinforce it and make it, you know, improve, um, uh, the, the, um, the effectiveness of things. So uh, just, again, fascinating. I gotta say, I would recommend it because it's, as I say, it's, they're not sort of tools that I would normally have thought of, of applying to a lot of things in my life, and yet they do. And so that's kind of a neat thing. I'm just, again, I'm really applying through anything I can find that's gonna help me with the learning process. I watched an amazing video, which I will put in a playlist as well, um, about a guy talking about how it takes 20 hours to master something. So that while there's the truly that, you know, there's a 10,000 hours to become the Beatles or, or Steve Jobs or, or Bill Gates or whatever, um, it's 20 hours to just get good at something and feel comfortable doing it because he was worried that people were sort of like giving up because they think like, oh, 10,000 hours, how am I ever going to be able to master something like that? This is just about like choosing a very specific topic that you want to learn and then taking that time, taking like, you know, 30, 40 minutes a day for a period of like a month or whatever, whatever it adds up to. Um, and that will give you the skills you need to get the stuff done. And um, uh, it was just kind of, uh, it was kind of a refreshing take on stuff because it was definitely still about hard work. It wasn't about sort of trying to do things quickly and, and with as little amount of, of work as possible. Um, but it just sort of made it clear that, you know, just, just, just chip it away at things will really, really make a difference. So I was trying to think about things that I really wanted to focus on. Um, I think a linear algebra is going to have to be one of them because I also saw an amazing thing about uh, quantum computing for um, computer scientists. I got about maybe a quarter of the way through before I got completely lost, but um, uh, just, oh, God, there's something there <laughs> that I find very, very fascinating. And I don't have any of the skills I need for it, but I'm, I would really just love to get sort of a, a, a grasp of it. Maybe not a total a mastery, perhaps, but uh, but certainly a grasp of it. So um, so that's what I've been up to. This is my burn and learn for the day. Um, I've got Christmas coming, so I got a lot of presents to wrap because I went a little crazy this year with lots of little stupid things that are really fun. Um, and uh, I've also been given some really fun stuff that have included bratlets. So I'm going to wrap those up and put them under the tree too. And uh, I you know I won't take I won't take responsibility for them. I will I will give credit where credit's due. But uh, uh, one particularly from Red Giant, which I'm really excited to start playing with with uh, with Sebastian, um, uh, who's Bratlet, by the way, just so that you can make that connection. Um, so that's it. That's my bird alert for the day. So um, until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come. Cheerio and a Merry Christmas and season's greetings to you all.